Hi, I'm Tom, and this is a collapsible mobile archery backstop. Now it's collapsed right now. Something that I designed and built here in my garage. And uh, you see it's got a couple of wheels, seven inch wheels on one side. Handle on the other, two handles on the other. Pretty easy to lift and roll around. It's only 35 pounds on one side, this side. So. Matter of fact, you lift it with one hand. Roll it around. So, let's take the tarp off and have a look at how it works. So, for you archery fans out there, this is something you could. Uh, you can build in your garage. I'll show you what tools you need in just a second. All right. So here's folded up. Easy enough to undo the, the bungees, which are attached to the bottom here. So the dimension here, this is uh, nine foot in length. And then these legs are six feet in total, three on each side. So this bar we're just gonna pick up and set to the side. We're gonna need it here in a second. It's got some hooks on it. You can see there's a hook there. And these hooks are for the uh, for the fabric that we uh, we're gonna unfurl right here. So this is a two millimeter thick archery backstop fabric. Got two pieces and. Um, each piece is five foot by six foot. It, uh, this stuff is made by a company called Aonike. You can find it on, uh, on the web. Amazon carries it. As you can see, this, this is a little dirty. I, I've had, actually this thing I built a year ago. And uh, so it's been in service for a while. And then I brought it back into the garage here and uh, upgraded it a little bit. There was some lumber that was cracked. Put a fresh coat of paint on it. Um, so the lumber is, uh, is redwood. You'll want to use that because you, uh, you don't want it to be rotting. So here we stand this up. And then to hold it in place just temporarily, See how that works. By the way, everything um, except for the archery backstop fabric, everything else you can get at Home Depot. This is just aluminum, aluminum angle. Cuts pretty easily with a saber saw. That's just to hold this up temporarily, right? And you notice that when that was swung down, this top piece has a bolt. It's really just a positioner. That fits into here when it folds down. So these, uh, there's one just similar to it on the other side here. And you're standing it up. And you have a similar sort of aluminum angle here just to hold it in place. So now it's stood up. Okay. Uh, notice the uh, notice the way it's constructed, designed and constructed here. This is exterior grade plywood right here, and then these are just two by fours. This is two by four, and this is two by six. The main main base is two by six. Uh, all of the wood is joined with glue, and uh, 
and screws. You see the screws here. And then wherever there is a joint between two pieces of wood, you want to use caulk. It's an ordinary old exterior grade water-based caulk. You want to do that so that the um, the water doesn't get in between the lumber there. It's going to last longer. I also went out of the way to seal the screw heads with caulk too. The idea is you want this to be able to stay outside without too much trouble and not rot after a year, year or two of use. You want it to last a good five, ten years. So hopefully this will this will last that long. So this is that uh, this is that top strut. All right. So what we're going to do here, you see this strut it fits right here. There's one side. And there's the other side. All right. See how that goes together? Now also notice again, you've got these hangers here. Actually, these are, these are eyelets that I bent open. All right. And see how it fits on the other side. Okay, so now what happens next is you'll notice that the, these are steel reinforced or brass reinforced eyelets. So this is fastened, fastened all the way down to the lumber. And then this eyelet goes right here. Another one right here. Now you want this to be loose, all right? Because when the arrows hit it, you want it to be able to move and absorb, absorb the, uh, the blow of the arrow. Like I said, this has been out in service for years, so you can see, you can see the arrow marks. You need something like this if you're gonna shoot for any length of time, because sooner or later, you're gonna miss the target Sooner, probably. Okay. And you're going to be chasing the arrows off into the desert or the woods, depending upon where you land, if you don't have a good backstop. Well, there it is. Cool, huh? Nice big backstop. Its height is six foot from the ground up to the, uh, the top of the two millimeter thick fabric. And then uh, to put it all back together again, the client, uh, you just follow the, the steps in reverse. Well, that's what it looks like. Okay, so the next step is to uh, take this thing outside and uh, let's shoot some arrows into it and see if it works. <laughs> 